Good morning, everybody. We are bass fishing. I feel like this is how I start all my videos, saying good morning, even though I post in the afternoon and going bass fishing like every single freaking day. Um, yeah, I am gonna go. This is a new lake, though. Lake I've never been to at all, ever in my entire life. So it's gonna be interesting to see, um, you know, if I can catch any fish today. It's looking a little froggy, though. Looking a little, I'm with Milliken. It's looking froggy, so, you know, that's kind of my cup of tea here. That's pretty much the only thing I can ever catch fish on. So, we're gonna see if we can catch some bass. Gosh, dang, son. I'm gonna shut the hook on him now. He, he exploded on that yeah, thing. that was uh, another giant. That's what we came here for. Told you there's big ones like this one, dude. Yeah. There's eights in here. Eight There's one. There we go. We got doubles. Milliken Double just threw up. his back. Right, you're good. You're good. You're good. Didn't want to kill him like you. Oh, I like killing fish. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Whoop. Right. First one, guys. Little starter fish. Good call throwing the treble hook bait. So this will be real fun taking all these fish off. Not a giant. I mean, I did get up at 3:15 this morning, so I guess it was worth it. I mean, we drove drove about two hours to catch these little squeakers, but there's big ones in here, right? I don't know. I've never been here. I've never. It's actually the second time I've ever been fishing. So, see you later, squeak, squeak, McGee. Yep, little, little spook. It's Halloween, guys. Here we go. It's about to be some bass destruction with this little boy. Is that why you guys were on that trip? Is he was trying to talk me to work with him? I was like, what? Oh, there we go. There, come on, buddy. Yes, sir. Yep. Oh, she's growing a little oh, bit. Oh, there we go. That's what there we came here for. Fish. We that's what we came here for that's right there. There it is. Like that, guys. That Just a flick of the wrist. Look at the flick of the wrist. Look at the flick of the wrist. That's all you need in life. <laughs> Interpret that how you would like. Oh, here he is. That thing weighs 12 God pounds. dang, Good son! God. Look how fat he is! Fire, that's not a bass. Look how fat this frog is. God dang. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, all right. That was easy. There we go, rock bass. Oh yeah, it feels good to be back. Even scales and Hell yeah. popping frogs. So it's kind of like this. Right. I mean, I know how busy you are, obviously. Like, you want to start up another company. Oh, dude, that's a big one. Oh, get it. That's a big one. Okay. We're growing. That's a big one, dude. We're growing. Oh, my God. That's dude, a toad. Just take that right off the pad. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's a toad. Oh, God. Yeah. He's got a toad, too. We found the big ones. Drop the poles. Yes. <laughs> yes. <gasps> Four pounders. Dude. Second cast with oh. the new frog. I'm telling you, man. Magic frog. It's the magic frog, bro. So in bed, I found this frog under the deck of my boat. This was like the frog I used all spring to catch the fish on. Second cast. Oh, baby. There we go, folks. First big end of the day right there on the old frog. The lucky frog, guys. Done did it. See you later, Lawrence. Yes. Yes! Yes! Like a four pounder, folks. Yes! On the frog, smoked it. Finally! So you guys can see the sun is up and shining. We moved spots. We found some lily pads. And that fish was in the lily pads, so that's good. Maybe, maybe we're onto something. I don't know, maybe not. But, that is good. First big fish of the day. That makes me feel so good, because I was catching so many flare fish. When we first got here, I was so nervous that um, that was all we were going to get. But, Came through. I'm gonna quit talking because uh, we gotta catch another one. God, dude, that's a big one. 
real freaking just gave out, dude. Oh my oh. god, that's huge! Oh shoot! Come here, buddy. Oh, yes. Look at that, dude. That one's gotta be close. Four and a half, probably. Yeah, that's a big one. That's a stout one. Oh my god. Yes, sir. Bye, bud. Yes! Stoked, man. Five pounder and a frog. Can't go wrong with that. Boom! He smoked a big one. Drop the poles, we found them. Oh, we don't have poles. Oh, dude, that was massive. Dude, that was so big. Oh my god. Oh, my. I'm getting, I'm getting down. Are you kidding me? How did he miss it? He like ate it too hard. God. Oh my god. Dude, I'm putting my beaver in there. That might be the biggest frog bite I've ever seen in my life. That actually is probably the biggest explosion I've ever seen in my life by a bass. That looked like a giant like muskie or pike, but they're I mean they're not in here. Come on, fish. Yeah, oh, yeah. he's still there. He's still there. He just hit it again, yeah. Look at that. Look at that, dude. He wants it. catch a giant frog. Dude. Oh god, it's a seven pound frog. This one might be bigger than yours, player. Get the net. Dude, are you watching this? Yes, he's still there. He's popping it off the, the That's lily the pad. That's frog I've ever seen. Oh my god. That thing might beat me up. Dude, he's still eating it. He can't get through. Hi, Flair fam. Don't come to the boat. Look at that, he's not even sinking. He's so freaking fat. I don't think he can. He's like full of air or something. I think I spooked him. You gonna catch that one? Or dude, did you see? I, oh, it's still there. He just hit it again. Dude, wait till you get to a clearing. I'm trying I'm trying to just inch it along. There's like nowhere to even. Dude, gotta be, this bass has hit like my a, frog. Like a, feet, like a two pounder. Yeah, this bass has hit my frog like six or seven times. He just, he pops off the pad. And he, there's an opening coming up here. Come on. This is your time to shine, buddy. Looking famous. Oh, buddy, right here, right there. It's open. It's open. Buff like, oh, buffet's right. open, buddy. That's a lure. Never mind. He's like, oh, that thing has got spaghetti legs. That's not a real frog. What's going on, guys? Quick update for you. Ben is uh, looking for a secret lure. We're going to tie on some secret stuff here. Uh, sun's out, and it's a little bit windy. So, you know, it should be good for some offshore bites and stuff, but unfortunately at this lake, there's not a whole lot of offshore opportunity. So we are just going to head to the dam and see if we can catch some more fish. We tried frogging and uh, and flipping and chatterbaiting a little bit, and the fish are here. They're, they're big here. I mean, they, they really are some solid fish here. They're just few and far between, and uh, we fished the entire stretch again where we had those big bluffs and no luck. I think we just kind of missed our, our window of early morning feeding. So we're going to go try to find some rocks and throw this secret lure and uh and, and and try to catch a few more fish before we before we call it a day all right guys if you're wondering here it is secret lure called the wingding what you do is you throw it out there let her sink her down to the bottom once this bottom you let it sit there for a couple seconds then you pop it four times not three not five one two three four and let it sink back down you'll feel a tick and then once you feel the tick that's a fish one two three four Yep, there we go. There we go. Got the wingding fish. Doesn't feel too bad. No. Woo! There we go. Now we're talking. There we go. My first wingding fish. We are on to something, folks. As you guys can see, the wind's pretty much not non-existent here, right where we're at on the dam. So you usually want to throw something subtle like this. You could throw a shaky head. You could throw a Nico rig. Um, Little, little Ned rig, something like that. But the old wingding, the old wingding is the secret, secret sauce today. Let's try that one. There we go. There we go. Come on. Well, wingding. Woo! Well, wingdings catch the little wingdings, but that's okay, guys. It's a fish. It is. Uh, it's gone pretty, pretty. Uh, we've been on the struggle bus more or less for the last about hour or two. We cracked them this morning. I mean, 
Well, kind of. We had a lot of good bites and we caught some good fish. Ben caught a couple big ones. I caught one big one. It was a good deal, but once that sun came out and just kind of just kind of killed the vibe a little bit. But Ben's saving the day, hooked me up with a little wingding. We're gonna see if we can catch a few more fish before we call it a day. A few moments later. We are ending the day, folks. Good day. Uh, it was kind of a struggle. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't quite what we had hoped for as far as making it easy on us catching fish, but we caught the quality. I mean, we drove like two hours. I got up at like 3.15 this morning, made sure I got to Ben's on time, and then drove out here for sunrise, and we had some big fish. He caught two big ones, I caught one big one, and then a whole bunch of squeakers, and uh, and got to try a new lure, the wing ding, folks. Everything, all the tackle that I use today will be all linked down below. Rods, reels, line, uh, lures, all that stuff, but if you're looking for some tips, it was pretty pretty tough to really pin down. I mean, the wing ding bite was easy, that's just rocks. I mean, anytime you're, you've got the damn rock jetties, those always usually hold like the small fish, like the, the you know, 12, maybe 15 inches. It can hold big fish, don't get me wrong, but if you're at a lake and you're struggling, just grab a shaky head, a wing ding, uh, a Nico rig, a Ned rig, just something small finesse, just a little worm, just a little rubber worm, throw it on the dam, Texas rig, whatever, it doesn't really matter. But the frog bite was a little weird because I caught my fish on the outside of the pads. Uh, he had some, one on the outside and then I think one on the inside. He had some insane, insane blow ups, like bigger than anything I've ever seen. And then I had that one that was following my frog for like 50 yards that just kept popping it, popping it, but there was no opening. So anyways, it was fun. Fishing lily pads is, is definitely something I love doing and something I don't get to do very often because there's not a ton by me, which is why we travel here. But I'm gonna quit talking. Like I said, if you guys want any of the products uh, that I use today, they will be linked down below. Flare gear, uh, would really appreciate if you guys picked some up. If you want a new fresh fishing hat, pick one up, link down below, and peace.